LFO section is on the top of the plugin. It contains five LFO, named from letter A to E. You can select them by clicking on them. You can also exchange LFO by drag and drop from LFO selectors. Each LFO has a type, rate and shape or step sequencer. Each LFO also has three bipolar sends. LFO type can be synced to your host, or to note voice, and they can be unipolar or bipolar. Many rates are available from bars to higher frequency. These higher frequencies LFO are noted as key and they will rate the LFO frequencies according to the note frequencies. So for example, key X4 is like 4 times slower than note frequency. You have a like 11 possible shapes, and 7 step sequencers. Step sequencers can be drawn on the screen. You can also move all shapes and sequencers around with the four arrows here. The LFO assignation is pretty simple. Push and maintain the mouse button down on a destination. All possible destination will start to blink. Then simply drag and drop to the control you want to link LFO to. To see visual LFO feedback, go in Options panel, then All LFO Assignation will always show. To remove LFO Assignation, Shift click on the destination. LFO speeder will rate up every LFO on the synth. Krishna synth also has a LFO recorder, here is how to use it. Play a note and then move the control around. Then press LFO recorder button to generate LFO from the way the control has been moved. Krishna synth first oscillator is called frame oscillator. You can see the current frame here. The frame oscillator can have 2048 frames, which are equivalent to wavetables. Let's keep oscillator 1 active only by removing sync and filters. On this frame oscillator you can select pencil and start to draw around. Smooth it again. Or draw some squared waveforms. You can manage the size of the drawing with right click and down or up drag. Here is a cool feature which is called Harmony Drawing. It will take the current drawing and let you draw it on other parts. Frame Oscillator also have some effects to transform the oscillator wave shape. First effect is Pulse Width Modulation. Here is a mirror effect, it can be quantized to free. Repeat is kind of the same effect. Here are other examples for the other effect available.
This example we have 4 frame and frame oscillator, you can hear the interpolation if you go move frame number slowly. But Krishna synth can also put them on a larger number of frames. In the tool menu, select deployed frame to 2048 frames. Now you have a smooth interpolation. So of course you can assign frame number on LFO, to make progressions within frames oscillator. You can load movie files to create frames to get new frame oscillators. Full version contains over 2000 oscillator movie files. Note that you can normalize each frame individually, using the menu, to prevent high volume variations. On full version you can drop a sample on the central screen. Krishna Synth will analyze the audio file, and create for you an original oscillator. In this example a simple singing voice has been dropped. All the three oscillator can be synced together in many ways, with simple but powerful sync mode. Krishna Synth full version features a preset randomization. To use it right click on the on the top left logo. Each click will perform a random preset generation. Not all will produce good results, but 1 out of 10 will. The main section here contains pitch bend, mono and legato. More advanced settings are available in the option section. You will find many extra features, like portamento up down speed balance. In this example the portamento up will be fast, and note down will be slow. You also have access here to an original unison features, like phase and pitch unison, and random for these for every new note you play. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to be informed on new versions, or new plugins.